Welcome back, delegates. Over the past three days, you have embraced acta non verba, actions not words, to debate, discuss, and design solutions for the world's most pressing problems. It's now time to take stock of how far we've come. We're going live on YouTube, so call your friends and join the show. My name is Anand. And my name is Smriti. And it is our pleasure to welcome you to the closing ceremony of NTU Mind 2022. We hope that every one of you goes home with something to remember, the friends you made, the perspectives you've gained, or even the new skills you've learned. NTU Mind 2022 would not be possible without the generous support of our sponsors. We are proudly supported by our platinum sponsors, Crimson Education and Version 2. Our platinum sponsor, Crimson Education, is the world's leading US and UK university admissions support company. NT1 and Crimson Education have joined forces to bring you around the world in 22 questions, a global one-of-a-kind world trivia quiz. Are you interested in receiving an e-voucher worth 150 SGD? Of your choice and want bragging rights as NTU Mun 2022's official most knowledgeable delegate? If you answered yes to any of these questions, do take part in the 20-minute quiz now by clicking in the link that will be provided in the chat shortly. The first person to achieve the highest score will win, so act fast. Next, we present to you our gold sponsors, Epigram and British Council. Please note that we've already shared the Epigram discount code with all the delegates in their respective Telegram groups. We thank all of our partners once again for supporting us throughout this journey. Ultimately, NTU Man aspires to raise the level of youth diplomacy by bringing together the brightest from around the world. With that in mind, let's now invite Lance, the Undersecretary General of Academics, to deliver his report on the proceedings of NTU Man 2022. Over to you, Lance. Thank you so much, Anand. Delegates, welcome to the end of NTU MUN. I hope you guys have enjoyed your time and have learned a lot especially since the academics team have strived and continuously aimed to be able to deliver great academic content for all of you to enjoy and to break down. Over the three days, I have seen delegates debate and cooperate with each other for the pursuit of creating a better and safer world by creating resolutions for these pressing issues. Although some debates did get quite heated, it is still great to see how delegates are able to see eye to eye at the end of the day. I hope that all delegates were able to learn and grow from this experience. We hope that we have shone light on different perspectives, especially since in this, in this fast-paced world, problems are sometimes overshone by larger and greater issues. With this said, I wish you all the best. Thank you, Lance. Next, we have a press director. Akriti Sehgal, presenting the International Press Corps Proceedings. Over to you, Akriti. Apologies, apologies. All right, let me re let me go again. Good, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for bearing with the technical difficulties. On to the press. Often an underestimated tenet of the world, as well as an MUN conference, the press possesses immeasurable reach, which also gives it the important job of making real, tangible change with the power of their words. The layman's trust in the press is what makes it a pillar of democracy and encourages our journalists each day to fulfill their responsibility to find and convey the truth. In the context of an MUN conference, press delegates are tasked with reporting on, criticizing the content of, and stimulating the flow of debate. And our delegates this year did exactly that. 
Their words were curated in the press block, which acts as an archive of the, of the highlights of the council debates, creating a montage of the most memorable moments at the conference. With more than 55 interesting and challenging articles written, five different confrontative press conferences conducted, and almost 20 am amusing tweets, our small team of 10 delegates has been able to effectively synthesize and collate the information across the committees and has disseminated it through the press blog and Twitter with their witty and informative posts. The press delegates have worked incredibly hard, drafting, composing, editing, and re-editing their articles to put forth the best work. In doing so, they don't only challenge the delegates, but themselves too. They took the provided feedback in their stride and continued to raise the bar with their articles. And it was such a delight to read their work and witness their short writing journey. To my delegates, even though we've only chosen a few delegates for the awards being announced later, we are still incredibly proud of, of the hard work and dedication that I've seen from our press delegates, none of whom missed a deadline. I could not have asked for a better team to work with, and I do hope that you continue on your journey to improve upon and realize the power of the written word. Thank you. Thank you very much, Akriti. And now we'll be moving on to the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to announce the prizes. The awards at NTU Man reflect our confidence in you. We've seen the performance and growth of the delegates over the last few days. And regardless of whether you leave today with a prize, we hope you take away something from this conference. And that would be an appreciation for the power of youth diplomacy and expanded horizons. We will be giving out prizes to the best delegate, outstanding delegate, honorable mentions, and best position papers for each committee. As for HCC, there will be a best directive instead of the best position paper award. In press, there will be four awards, the best press delegate, the best press piece, the best press conference, and the best pre-conference paper. Firstly, the best delegate awards. We will be giving away a $30 Amazon gift card, as well as one year subscription to version two ESET antivirus. For the outstanding delegates and the best press piece, we will be giving away a $20 Amazon gift card, as well as one year subscription to the aforementioned antivirus. For the honorable mentions of each committee, we will be giving a $10 Amazon gift card. In the case that the Amazon gift cards cannot be utilized in your respective country, do note that an equivalent voucher will be provided. For the best position papers and the best directives, we will be giving a six month subscription to the New York Times. And all awards will be delivered to you online within two weeks. So we won't leave you hanging any further. Let's welcome the chairs to announce the awards. All right, let's start with our first beginner committee, WHO. May, I, may we please invite the head chair, Anjana Palaman, to give away the award? Okay, um, <clears throat> am I audible and visible? Thank you. Greetings, team NTU Man and my fellow delegates. It's my honor to be a part of this conference and I hope all of you had a fruitful time here. Since the last iteration of this month, I took back a lot as a member of the dais and as a responsible citizen. And hence, as I chaired a council this time, I made it a point to give back to this conference. I would like to take this opportunity to thank NTU Man Secretary General Mayang Goyal, his friendly and approachable persona, coupled with the DSG and USG of academics, Jillian and Lance's commitment and enthusiasm, ensured that I had an amazing time for the past few months. Special thanks to our academic director, Angel Sarah Matthew, who stood with us in every step of the way, guiding us patiently and enthusiastically. And of course, my assistant chairs, Raywant and Madhav, extremely cooperative and efficient. My experience was exponentially better because of the both of you. Delegates of the World Health Organization, in one word, you were great. This was an immense learning opportunity for me and I surely took back a lot more than I expected. I hope your hardworking and determined nature helps make a difference to the world one day. Over the course of three days, we as the Dias were part of an extremely informative and fun comedy. Through interactive and collaborative discussions, we were amazed by the commitment and enthusiasm of the delegates of our council. Please remember that these awards are simply a formality and all of you were winners when you decided to participate in the global platform to make the world a better place. All that said and done, now for the awards. The first verbal commendation for our council is the delegate of Brunei, Vivek Katipogu. 
extremely amicable and patient, you were a joy to listen to. The next verbal commendation of this council goes to the delegate of China, Christelle Lim. You were extremely well researched and you raised very important points during our discussions. Congratulations, delegates. The best position paper award was a bit of a hard choice and was undoubtedly a close cut. It was elaborate and extremely well drafted. The best position paper award for our council goes to the delegate of Somalia. The honorable mentions of this council goes to two delegates. The first one is a delegate of Qatar, Shintaro Ikeguchi. Your composure and confidence were commendable. The next honorable mention is the delegate of the United Kingdom, Arun Ajay. We were amazed by your diplomatic spirit and collaborative nature throughout the council. Congratulations, delegates. Our council's outstanding delegate goes to the delegate of Netherlands, Najma Abdullahi. We enjoyed listening to your well-articulated and well-researched speeches. And lastly, our best delegate. This delegate was consistent, displayed commendable leadership and management skills, and had surely done their pre-conference homework. Any guesses? It goes without saying, it's the delegate of the French Republic, Patricia Haiti. Congratulations, delegates. Thank you, delegates, and thank you, NTU Man, for this opportunity. I look forward to working with you again, and I wish you the best of luck for your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Anjana. Uh, before we move on, I'd just like to make an announcement for all the winners being announced. Please do stay till the end of the ceremony so we can take a group picture. Thank you. Now we'll move on to the next uh, council, the United Nations Environment Program. And for this, uh, I'd like to call upon the head chair, uh, Deepan, to present the awards. All right. Hello, everyone. Good things, everyone. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Deepan as the head chair from the UNEP Council. I am accompanied by Tata, the assistant chair of the UNEP Council. First of all, we would like to personally express our thanks to the Secretariat for organizing this event and providing a platform for the chairs and the delegates. Special shout out to Gargia as our director, Matthew as the tech support, and Lance and Gilliam and Yaris that's really working hard behind the screen. Second of all, we would like to provide a brief overview of our council. UNEP is categorized as a beginner council in the 16th version of NTU Man. While it may be true that a lot of delegates are first timer, though we saw an exceptional growth of each of the delegates throughout the process. Even though there are a couple of hiccups along the way, such as like submission of the art, tense atmosphere between blocks, and other dramas occur, they were able to at least manage through the session with minimum conflict and was trying their best effort to make amends. Enough said. For our final point, we would like to announce the awards as the recognition of their efforts and congratulating them on the growth. First award will be the best portion paper. These delegates' papers managed to identify the core issues on the topic and give relevant solutions. Congratulations to the delegate of France. Second award will be the verbal commendation. We give this award to the two delegates who showed tremendous efforts and growth throughout the conference. Congratulations to the delegate of India and delegate of Norway. Third award will be the honorable mention. We also give this award to the two delegates who we thought complement each other. One of them excels in terms of speeches and was able to contribute to the debate, while the other excels in terms of negotiation and was able to call lead the formation of the draft solution. We would like to congratulate the delegate of Bangladesh and the delegate of Korea. Congratulations. Fourth award will be the most outstanding award. We give this award to the delegate who are able to influence the council with their solutions that contribute well to the flow of debate. Congratulations to the delegate of the United States of America. Finally, the best delegate award. This delegate shows maturity throughout the conference by greatly influencing the council, leading and directing the debate. We believe that this delegate is ready to jump into an intermediate or advanced council. We would like to congratulate the delegate of France. That is all from me, uh, from us. Thank you, and best of luck to our delegates and everyone here. Thank you for that, Devon. Okay. Next up, we have the Food and Agriculture Organization. May we please call up the chair, Sri Lakshmi Chidambaram, to give away the award? Um, yes, uh, hello, everyone. I am Sri Lakshmi. Chidambaram and I served as the head chair of the Food and Agriculture Organization. 
uh, before I go on to talk about our council and the awards, I would like to thank the Secretariat of NTU MUN for giving me and my assistant chair Nathan this wonderful opportunity. And I'd also specifically like to thank the head of academics, uh, Gillian, and our academic director, Jason, for helping us uh, with a few hiccups uh, over the past few days. And of course, I need to thank Nathan for um, being such a joy to work with. I had such a lovely time working with him. And of course, thank you to all of our delegates who made this experience such a fulfilling one for Nathan and I. Uh, moving on to our committee, we had two uh, agendas, the first one regarding the pesticide and herbicide use and the other one about the sustainability of fisheries and aquaculture. When we started out, Nathan and I didn't have too many expectations because this is a beginner council, um, but we were very pleasantly surprised to see that our delegates were very well researched and they figuratively broke through the glass ceiling on the very first day. And we were very excited to go on the journey with them for the next two days of the session as well. And we had a lovely time in the council. We passed both of our draft resolutions and it's been an enriching experience for all of us. Uh, we also, uh, Nathan and I wanted to point out that uh, we are a little limited in terms of the awards. So um, regardless, every one of you in the council did an amazing job and we hope that you go on to do many more conferences in the future as well. Uh, with that being said, um, we have two verbal commendations in the committee, and these go in no particular order to the delegate of the Netherlands and the delegate of Denmark. Um, both of these delegates, they did uh, a lot to capture our attention over the various committee sessions that we had, and they also contributed a lot to the resolution, the working papers, and the amendments but I think most specifically, they showed a great deal of uh, growth over the committee sessions from day one to day three, and that is very important. So uh, congratulations to both of these delegates. On top of the verbal commendations, we have two honorable mentions, and the two honorable mentions in no particular order go to the delegate of France and the delegate of Brazil. So the delegate of France uh, did an outstanding job in the council, a very consistent performance. And um, we were just intrigued to see how many different policies and different working programs, different training um, legislation that she came up with in the resolution. We were very happy to see her contributions to the committee. And the delegate of Brazil, I think really made my assistant chair Nathan happy by continuously challenging um, this is the different operative clauses that were presented in our resolution today and just overall improving the quality of debate and contributing to the resolution. Uh, our best position paper award goes to the delegate of Vietnam. And uh, this delegate had a very comprehensive working paper and uh, filled with lots of good solutions and citation of existing legislation and policy. And we were very happy to see and go through his working paper when we were correcting them today. And now coming to the most anticipated uh, award, which is the outstanding delegate and the best delegate. So the outstanding delegate in the council, so Nathan and I and Jason, we were like talking about this a lot because a lot of the delegates did an amazing job in the committee, but um, our outstanding delegate goes to delegate of Vietnam. And uh, the reason for this, I think personally, I was very impressed by the cadence of his speech and the way that he brought all the delegates in the committee together, the consistency of his performance. And we were very happy to have him in the council with us. He did a lot for everyone. And finally, the best delegate, uh, I think that everyone in the FAO kind of already know who it might be. And it is the delegate of the United Kingdom. So um, I just realized that I didn't call out the names of the the delegates who got the awards, I'm very sorry about that. But uh, delegate of the United Kingdom, I think Wu Juhan, uh, thank you very much. And you um, definitely like, Nathan and I were very impressed by the research that you had done, the depth of it, and your grasp of the fundamentals of both of our agendas. So thank you very much for everything that you've contributed. And personally, I still think that you have the makings of an agricultural scientist. So thank you very much and handing back to the MC. Thank you very much, Sri Lakshmi. We will now be moving on to the next council, which is DISEC. And for that, I'd like to call upon uh, Jinran to present the awards. 
Thank you very much for that wonderful work on MCs. And indeed, first and foremost, alongside my fellow distinguished chairs, Nalin and Asa, we would like to thank the Secretary of MTU Man 2022 for giving us this wonderful opportunity to chair in this conference and for being such great help, especially during you know, times of need. And I'd like to touch a bit upon the Council of the Disarmament and International Security Committee, of which we had two agendas today, well, for the past three days. Namely, first, the application of artificial intelligence in the military and tackling terrorism in the digital world. So let's touch upon the first one. The delegates had to tackle such a significant topic because we need to understand that the military is not simply just fighting, just frontline troops engaged in combat, but also supports and logistics. And in this path, the delegates had to tackle the issues of the provision and collection of data, privacy concerns, misuse of said data, and the ethics of such usage, such as ultimate responsibility. Who is ultimately responsible if a malfunction occurs? And the delegates had to comprehensively tackle all of these interconnected issues all at once. For the second topic, terrorism in the digital world, where, as we understand, terrorism has become a major threat in our modern world, where recruitment and funding have become far more easier with digitalization. And of course, the delegates had to tackle the age old problem of the definition of terrorism. After all, as it is well known that the United Nations has really never adopted a universal definition. And to the extent that even when sub bodies such as the HRC of the sort make reports on terrorism, they have to make up their own rudimentary definition. But nevertheless, our delegates, through much compromise, through much contentious debate, through much negotiation, have managed to come together and to tackle this problem. To the extent, to the extent that for both topics, I am pleased to say on behalf of the whole board of Darius, Darius, me, Nalin, and Issa, we are proud to say that both the council has managed to tackle both topics with two comprehensive draft resolutions each. Well, no, not each, one for one topic. And when I say comprehensive, I mean it. 20 clauses per draft resolution. And that is saying something the amount of heart, the amount of commitment of our delegates towards resolving these issues. And as a final remark, before we go into awards, I, as the head chair of DISEC, I would like to personally thank Nalin and Issa for being such wonderful chairs alongside me. And it has been indeed an honor to sit alongside both of you. So, ladies and gentlemen, the time that you have all been waiting for, the awards for the DISEC Committee. So let us start off with verbal commendations. And in no particular order, let us see who has been declared to be verbally commend commended by the ball dais. First delegate. This delegate, if I had to describe this delegate with two words, it would have to be working paper. I kid you not. This delegate has consistently showed comprehensive working paper consistently been active in the drafting front and this first verbal commendation goes to the delegation of the united states of america congratulations delegate second delegate this verbal commendation goes to a delegate who has consistently been active who consistently sought to drive the council into certain directions to bring efficiency towards the council at the hand and despite despite being i will go as far as to say perhaps overshadowed at times they nevertheless were very consistent and they pushed through despite the challenges. And of that, this award, go, this verbal commendation goes to the delegation of the Italian Republic. Congratulations, delegate, you deserve it. And the third verbal commendation goes to a delegate who has consistently participated in the discussions, where despite, despite not being in the front lines of discussions, this delegate has constantly sought ideas consistently considered the opinions of others and contributed during the most critical times. And of that, this verbal commendation goes to the delegate of the Federal Republic of Germany. Congratulations, delegate, you have deserved it. Now, the ones that are core awards, I'll put it like that. The best position paper award. Now this, yes, Nalin, Issa and I, we read through all the position papers and to be frank, it was a very hard decision because there were at least three or four contenders, and all were very capable, especially considering that one page, one topic, meaning much content had to be placed within such a limited amount of space. 
But after much deliberation, we have found it fit to award the best position paper to this delegate. And that delegate is the delegation of the People's Republic of China. Delegate, you deserve it. Congratulations on the best position paper. Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. In no particular order, we have decided to award two honorable mentions. For the first delegate, this delegate has consistently been one of the most passionate delegates in the council, consistently using vivid descriptions of our world, assuming the worst case scenario occurred. And this delegate has consistently ensured that their foreign policy, their, their country's beliefs, are consistently upheld during the entire discussion throughout these whole three days. And it's of that we, as the Board of Dyers, hereby award the honorable mention to the delegation of the Republic of Sudan. Delegate, you have deserved it. And for the other honorable mention, this delegate wielded such great influence in the beginning of the conference, played such a big part in the discussion. And despite eventually waning influence of play like that, they still nevertheless clinged on towards discussion to be part of the front lines of the discussion and to be able to co contribute and, and to participate when the opportunity presented itself. And it is for that, we as a board of dais hereby award the honorable mention to the delegation of the state of Israel. Delegation of Israel, congratulations, you have deserved it. And we come to the final two awards, ladies and gentlemen. The outstanding delegate award. Okay, this delegate has been well, a wonderful delegate. This delegate has consistently been such a core player in the council, consistently being such a big part in the direction of discussions towards the topic at hand, of which even the uh, non-formal documents, which is, which is basically working papers, have played such an integral part into directing the debate of the council. And in fact, has been so critical that almost their working papers has effectively been the solid core of the council, one of the solid cores, and is of that, with such influence, such passion, and such speaking ability, the Board of Dias, we hereby award the Outstanding Delegate Award to the Delegation of the Republic of Turkey. Delegation of Turkey, you have deserved it. And ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the Best Delegate Award of the Disarmament and International Security Committee of NTUMA 2022. This Nalin, Issa, and I, we fully agree this delegate has been very influential, has been a critical part of the discussions of the council, has consistently put practical perspectives towards issues and solutions alike. And without this delegate, I have little doubt that the council would have had a little days, I'll put it like that. And it's because this delegate being such a unifying factor to allow the council to come together and to tackle the problem together. It is for that. Nalin, Issa and I, the Board of Dias of Dissect, we hereby award the Best Delegate Award to the Delegation of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Congratulations, Delegate. You have deserved it. So that has come to an end of the, award, of the awarding session for the Disarmament and International Security Committee. To all delegates, always have a spirit of learning, for learning is key to the universe. Have a great evening. Take care and farewell. And I give it back to the honorable MCs. Back to you. Thank you so much, um, Jim Ren. We really loved your energy when you were presenting the awards. All right, uh, moving on. Next up, we have a UNHRC. Can I please invite the chair, Keisha, to give away the awards? Yes, thank you very much, MCs. Hello, everyone. I am Keisha, and I am the head chair of UNHRC the UNHRC committee for this year's NTUM event. I would firstly like to thank and show my appreciation for my amazing assistant chairs, Chisa and Lakshita, for being amazing assistant chairs for UNHRC. I'd also like to thank our director, Angel, and our tech support, Nigel, um, as the UNHRC committee will surely not be the same without them. So I'd like to give an applause for them for helping the committee run smoothly for the past three days. Next, I'd like to thank the delegates for being well-researched, participative, and dip diplomatic in the UNHRC. As the chairs, we are very proud of the amount that you have resolved and the amazing improvement you've had in quality of debate and cooperation throughout these past three days. And speaking on behalf of the chairs, we'd also like to thank the delegates for the amazing experience you have given us as chairs. Now, the part where every delegate is waiting for, the awards. 
before we begin, I'd like to say that uh, the chairs and I had quite the struggle on allocating awards. But nonetheless, uh, remember that if you do not receive an award in NTUMU in 2022, you have won an award in the chair's hearts. And I hope that's a good enough substitute. <laughs> Next, the verbal. So first, we'll start off with the verbal commendations. We'll be awarding them to the Republic of the Sudan, and which is Anish Peruma, and the Arab Republic of Egypt, Amina Balalem. We think that Sudan had been very impactful for the committee and had very well researched solutions. And as well as Egypt, who was very diplomatic throughout the session. They had been extremely diplomatic throughout unmoderated caucuses. And however, these two delegates were unfortunately overshadowed by the insistent delegates of the committee. Next, we have the best position paper award. We are awarding this, this award to the delegate of the Republic of Estonia, Kalisha Paulus as their mark of the, for their position paper was 50 out of 50. It was very good. It, was, it had a good structure and their solutions are in-depth and their content was well-researched. Next up, we have honorable mentions. Uh, this was the part where the chair struggled a lot, um, but we nonetheless, we'd like to award the honorable mentions to the delegate of People's Republic of China, Siti Shafania, and the Kingdom of Thailand, Andreas Alan Handoyo. Now, the delegate of China and Thailand were one of the most well-researched people in this committee. However, um, the delegate of China's performance kind of dropped in the second, second day, and I believe it was unfortunately because she was sick. But this delegate prevailed and she was able to pick up her performance again on the third day. Uh, had the unfortunate event had not happened to the delegate of China, we are very sure that this delegate would uh, soar up to higher awards. The delegate of Thailand was very re well researched as well and had a lot to say in all the sessions. Uh, they had a lot of influence to the committee as well. However, similar to the delegate of China, he was overshadowed. But although the delegate of, China, of Thailand was particularly overshadowed in their uh, weaker collaboration in committees, he, will, he played an important role in the UNHRC committee and the committee flow. Nearing the top award, we have the most outstanding delegate award. This will be given to the delegate who was quite diplomatic toward their block. They were able to balance out collaboration and content and was definitely a team player. This delegate particularly shined on day two where she led her block and was able to navigate through stressful pressures of her fellow delegates. We are very proud of this delegate particularly as they played a big role in the proceeding of the committee. Um, and we would like to award the most outstanding delegate award to the delegate of the French Republic, Najma Ali. Congratulations. Lastly, we have the Best Delegate Award. Now, the awardee is someone I'm very sure everyone agrees on as the Best Delegate in UNHRC. And as guest, yes, the Best Delegate of the UNHRC Committee is the Best the Delegate of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Maximilian Angtjensu. This delegate was not only active throughout committee, they were the one that was driving the committee. This delegate was not only well-researched in ROP, they were they were, uh, they were well versed in our. They were they were well researched. They were well versed in the ROP, and they sought for collaboration. And although this delegate was quite an outspoken delegate, it was very fit for a delegate uh, of a Saudi a delegate of Saudi Arabia. But overall, that is from me. Um, remember, if you did not win an award, you this this does not imply anything, and we think that you were all great as chairs. And that's all for me. Thank you very much, everyone. And I hope you had a great weekend, weekend with NTMU and UNHRC because I did. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, Keisha, for your presentation. Uh, we will now move on to the next council, which is the United Nations Development Program. And that for that, the awards will be presented by Yamini Prashant. Yamini, over to you. Thank you so much. All right, I hope I'm uh, audible and visible in this world of virtual conferences. Anyway, so good evening, everyone. Uh, I guess in the interest of being time zone inclusive, hello, everyone. My name is Yamni Prashant, and it was my pleasure and privilege to come back here to NTUMUN to serve as the head chair of the UNDP, which is the United Nations Development Program. In a world wrought with so many new crises, from pandemics to inflation to straight up invasion, Countering some of our oldest crises falls in the regrettable position of being more important yet more neglected than ever before. So in 2022, these new crises have actually set the world back considerably on one such long battle, the war against poverty. 
in the words of Nelson Mandela, overcoming poverty is not a gesture of charity, it's an act of justice. And as head chair of the UNDP, it is with great pride that I share with you that over the course of three effervescent days of debate, our committee meted out this justice in the form of a clear, comprehensive and collaborative resolution towards collective and sustainable emergence from the shadows of poverty, the feasibility and effectiveness of which would not be limited by cultural, geographical, financial, or even contextual boundaries. This would certainly not have been possible without the enthusiasm, research, and teamwork of the delegates, the smooth running event organized by the NTUMUN team, who have been named before, and uh, my incredible co-chairs, Jenny and David, both of whom were instrumental both before and during the conference, providing their insight, support, and just their spirit, making this a very special conference for me and for everyone else in the council, I'm very sure. So thank you to everyone. And without further ado, I would like to announce the prize winners. And trust me, it's not an obligatory cliche when I say that we had the hardest time picking our prize winners as every single delegate contributed so much to committee. But we tried, and this is what we came up with, and we hope it's something that you all resonate with as well. Apologies in advance if I mispronounce anyone's name, but I would like to call the delegates out by their actual names themselves now that the council is over. Uh, we would like to verbally mention the following delegates first. Akmal, the delegate of France, for his consistency and his calm insight over the past three days. Alba, uh, Alberta Tracy, the delegate of Saudi Arabia, for her strategic lobbying and leadership. She, she was really an amalgam in the committee. Uh, next, the honorable mentions go out to two delegates, uh, both of whom were intelligent and articulate, both in their speech and on paper. So Vaishnavi Devarajan, the delegate of Brazil, and Amari Miranda, the delegate of Japan. Now the best position paper award goes to Rimba, the delegate of Thailand, whose clarity and content on paper had just the slightest edge over the stimulating performance he gave us in committee. And coming to our top two delegates, uh, our top two delegates certainly differentiated themselves in terms of content, but that was far from the most remarkable qualities they brought to the table. So without further ado, our outstanding delegate is Vienna Ranka, the delegate of Norway, for her sharpness, her courage, and her combative spirit, really inspiring. And our best delegate for his diplomacy, his wisdom, and the collaborative spirit he brought to the committee is Sejuan, the delegate of Pakistan. Now to quote some literature from my own culture in this international forum, straight from the Bhagavad Gita, I'd like to say, which means let your concern be your action. Let it not be on the outcome of the action. Don't act only out of expectation of a result, but don't slip into inactivity. So whether you log off today with a prize or not, I hope you log off with some learnings, experiences and memories to cherish and to help you grow. Uh, I hope this has helped you go from a place of ignorant bliss to having informed opinions, which I think is a beautiful aspect of MUNA. I think I speak for all the chairs, in fact, when I say that we personally have learned from and enjoyed every minute we spent in your company over the last few days, especially that last entertainment session that we all had. Uh, if you know, you know. Uh, thank you so much for this lovely experience. And I'd like to pass the baton back to the organizing committee. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, next up, we have the United Nations Southeast. One second. Yeah, next up, we have the United Nations Human Settlements Program, also known as the UN Habitat. May I please um, request the chairs to announce the awards? Hi, uh, I'm, I'm Hansen. I'm a deputy chair of the UN Habitat, and I will be announcing the awards for today. This chair likes green tea, red tea, but most importantly, a substantive majority. The dais is heartened to witness UN Habitat's fast-paced and comprehensive debate over the past three days, and is honored to have overseen such an enthusiastic council. It is clear that what truly unites delegates across blocks 
and competing resolutions, failed or otherwise, is their undying passion to push the boundaries of debate and ensure that their voice is heard. Never has the dais seen more working papers, and never has the dais had to entertain every motion in the rules of procedure. At this point, the dais would like to highlight certain delegates who set others thinking and eventually pulled the committee together. These delegates are as follows. Firstly, the delegates, the chairs would like to verbally commend the delegate for the salient points they raised in council and their contributions to the council's direction. They are the delegate of Japan, Regina Mutiara. Next, for solid frameworks and a balanced discussion of issues, the best position paper award is conferred upon the delegate of China, Keisha Mahendra. Moving on, an honorable mention is in order for this delegate who relentlessly pushed council forward with new solutions and ideas. This delegate is the delegate of the United Kingdom, Ethan Ong. The Dais would like to also commend this delegate for leading the council in two question and answer sessions for both resolutions on the two topics. Next, the outstanding delegate goes to this delegate who sought to reach across the aisle to build consensus and make compromises. This delegate is the delegate of India, Rian Kaur. Finally, this delegate showed exceptional leadership in council and strived constantly to keep council on track through both topics. The best delegate in UN Habitat is conferred upon the delegate of Norway, Wade Zyuan. The dais also exp expresses its appreciation to the Secretariat for their hard work behind the scenes in making this conference a success. And the dais also thanks all delegates once again for their contributions in council. This has been an incredi incredibly en enriching experience even for us chairs. And we hope that the delegates also took home some takeaways from this conference. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation, Hanshin. We'll be moving on to the next uh, committee, which is ASEAN. And for that, we'd like to call upon Rehan to present the awards. Rehan. Thank you very much, committee. And good uh, afternoon, everyone. My name is Rehan Ekananto as the representative of the chairs for ASEAN Council. Uh, Leon apologizes as the head chair as he cannot attend. And how about here? There is also Mutas and et cetera. So, uh, as first of all, the Board of Dice of ASEAN Council would like to appreciate and thank everyone, especially for me personally. I'd like to thank the delegates, the chairs, Leon and Mutas, as well as the academics and the committee, uh, Gargi, Gillian, Lance, etc. So we'll begin with a comprehensive uh, conclusion on the ASEAN Council itself. So for the ASEAN Council itself, we have we actually succeeded on discussing both topics, which is synthetic drug trade followed by the uh, uh, combating tourism in COVID-19 era as a whole, and both joint communicate paths since ASEAN is a, uh, is a consensus council. Uh, what was unique about the ASEAN council is that even though some we invited observers such as China, China, United States, et cetera, they were also being very comprehensive and very, and criticized a lot in regards to the working paper and draft communique of the other delegates. There was also two crisis updates and one press conference in only two committee sessions. So that was fun. My main criticism of the ASEAN Council is that it was a bit jumpy and sometimes it went in circles. However, in the end, all the delegates uh, succeeded on finding a consensus and succeeded on, both, on, on making both uh, joint communique. So I'll begin with the awards now. The first one is for verbal accommodation. Uh, for this delegate, uh, he or she did he or she was really great in the, in the second topic. He or she even, lead, even led the debate in topic two. However, there was a significant drop in committee session two and three and was not really active in discussion of topic one. Without further ado, the verbal accommodation is the delegate of Singapore, Amiratu Motia Wisasani. Okay, second uh, best position paper award. Uh, this, best posi this position paper was very simple, to be honest but comprehensive in their debates in the solutions and references. It had good substance uh, and it was considered as me, for me, by, for me, Leon and Mutas as the best position paper. This delegate was also good in substance throughout the debate, however, just not enough presence. The best position paper award goes to the delegate of Australia, Rahmat Akbar Berliano Ulurara, Ulurara sorry. Okay, the next award. Uh, we got an honorable, honorable mention. So for the honorable mention awards, the first receiver of the honorable mention is a delegate with one of the best substance and 
especially towards the end. However, they lack in leadership. And we believe that this delegate just needs to push his or her presence more and that they could even they could get a outstanding delegate or even a best delegate. This is this award is given to the delegate of Malaysia, Shen Yufan. For the second honorable mention, uh, this delegate was a very good leader and negotiator, especially in the beginning and at the very end of the committee session. However, the chairs have decided that this delegate is this delegate is sometimes a bit undiplomatic and loses their influence over time. Other than that, this delegate tends to be a bit pushy and didn't excel enough in the, in the types that we want, such as uh, negotiation and diplomacy. Hence, the second award for honorable mention goes to the delegate of China, Altea Karenina Pravdita Dutom. Okay, so for the last award, uh, this award is uh, for us is equivalent to the best delegate of this council. Uh, they are able to somewhat represent the bloc in merging for the whole Comses, even though this delegate was having a bit of a power struggle as in the beginning and especially in the end of the committee sessions. Uh, they are an active delegate as well as a substantive one and a elaborative one. However, unfortunately, us chairs cannot give a best delegate uh, award due to some issues in communication throughout the whole council. Hence, we give the highest award of this council, the most outstanding delegate, to the delegate of Thailand, Elaris Po Yanning. That is it from me as the representative of the ASEAN Council. Thank you very much. And human has been fun. And I give the floor back to the MC. Thank you so much for that, Ryan. Uh, next up. Next up, we have the United Nations Security Council. May I please call upon the chair, Sean Moon Hukai, to um, present the award. Thank you, everyone. The United Nations Security Council was a very special and unusual committee for a few reasons. The first would be that this should be my last uh, model UN conference, and I'm very privileged to have the rare opportunity to have a special someone in the committee with me. The second is that this committee had almost as many observers as member states. And the third is that, this was very unusual in SE as all delegates were, while striving for the best, nonetheless remained wholesome and positive and well bonded at the end of the conference. However, obviously, typical UNSE things still occurred. Uh, three results were introduced, all of which were vetoed, and all of which failed even after dividing the question. There was constant motioning, and the more motions that, than the chair could accept at any one point in time. And obviously, they never ever let the GSL run dry. We never had to call upon any delegates at our discretion. So thank you very much to all delegates for providing this very, this very good opportunity for us as chairs and especially for me to round off my career. Almost thanks also goes to my two co-chairs. They were very, very, very proactive, very eager to learn and honestly really great to work with. Um, anecdotally, I was feeling rather unwell earlier today. Uh, so I missed my committee session, but I knew I could leave the council in very, very good hands. So a very big thank you to Shreyash and David. Many thanks also to Lance, the US Geocats, for the great support throughout, and it was a great experience working with a very committed US Geocats, who was very proactive to offer his support at every opportunity. Many thanks for that. All right, now on to the awards. First, verbal commendations. This delegate gave really fun working papers that caused shockwaves throughout the council. She was forthright in calling out other Dells for breaking stunts and was steadfast in sticking to her national interests. Her speeches were succinct but effective. However, for reasons owing to a conflict of interest, she's unable to receive any paper awards, even though she certainly would have. The first verbal commendation goes to the delegate of Iran, Joanne Wood. Next, the other verbal commendation goes to this delegate who was voted best voice. He was active in every session, despite living on the other side of the world and debating at 4 a.m and he never hesitated to push for Council's cooperation and to move towards a compromise in each resolution. Unfortunately, this delegate's real-life stance might have been more combative, and as such, she has been awarded a verbal mention. The next VC goes to Russia, Hector Gerard. On to the best position paper. The best position paper award is rather ironic because while this delegate prepared a position paper worthy of briefs in the Foreign Service, this delegate was quite confused about his position in council itself. Nevertheless, in the position paper, this delegate was very adept in identifying his stance and showing how his policies led to his core interests. 
this delegate is the delegate of the United States, T. Renzian. On to the honorable mentions. This delegate was a decent all-rounder, giving solid arguments while doing his part constructively in terms of working papers and resolutions. He pushed a moderate stance for both topics, befitting of his stance as a smaller state. He understood the topic well and understood the priorities of the council. The honorable mention award goes to the delegate of Brazil, Javier Singh Kurana. Unfortunately, the Dias felt that our best delegate award was not fitting for this committee due to man many delegates' difficulty to remain consistent with their stances and simulate a realistic security council. There were frequent changes of stance, which made it difficult to define a single delegate as being a model delegate. Hence, the Dias shall only be awarding an outstanding delegate award. On to the OD, this delegate not only understood the topic extremely well, but came up with original solutions that generally followed their stance. This delegate fought hard to include his solutions in the final draft resolution, and this delegate presented good speeches that were eloquent and well elucidated. This delegate was able to identify the key contentions of the topic and ensure that there was an attempt at addressing all of them, and even managed to ensure there was good engagement with other Dells to ensure that there was a good debate that went on. This delegate goes to the uh, this award goes to the delegate of uh, apologies. The delegate of China, uh, and this would be the delegate of China. This would be Fikri Abrua Risky Selo. Apologies, I've got to ensure the notes on the, my script. Anyway, congratulations to the delegate of China for being awarded outstanding delegate. In sum, we thank all delegates for three days of appealing debate, and we hope that you continue your journey more the UN. For me personally, I significantly benefited my education and development, and I'm confident that it will for yours too. All the best in future conferences, and thank you for three days of excellent debate. Thank you very much for your presentation, Sean. Really appreciate that. Uh, we'll now be moving to HCC, the Historical Crisis Council. And for that, I'd like to call upon Satyana Pandey to present the awards. Thank you so much. Uh, so hi, y'all. Uh, first of all, allow me to introduce myself. I am Satyana Pandey, the acting head chair slash crisis director for Historical Crisis Council. I am representing a team of amazing individuals with uh, my fellow co-chairs, which are Zach, Errol, and Daffy, who helped me throughout the whole journey and from preparation till the end. Now, to begin, I will of course like to first thank the Secretariat for their amazing support. Especially, I would like to thank Jillian, our Accounts Director, and to Harsh, who helped who have helped us throughout the committee session. I couldn't imagine the success of uh, our crisis council without your patience and understanding to the difficult situation that our council had gone through for the past three days. Now, within the commission of the crisis council, we were thrown back in time to 2002 as the US government scrambled to explain why the terrible incident on September 11, 2001 occurred. And throughout the last three days or uh, 12 months in the lore, in the in this session, commission members swarmed through the maze that was the US bureaucracy and hindrances from the intelligence communities. The members must face through trials and tribulations, such as, but not limited to, assassination attempts, smears, forgery, corruption, backstabbing, and even federal indictments. And But, even with six members of committees now rotting in federal prison and with one delegate run away to Singapore, the committee still managed to publish a report, which would pretty much uh, will change the U.S. Uh, foreign policy in the next few years. Now, in total, there were 286 directives processed with only less than 15 delegates, a very considerable amount, and this is only possible with great delegates who always send their directives and participate with great passion. Now, each single one of you has contributed tremendously to the debate and to the final report. Now, with those in mind, let's go to the awarding. For the first category of award, we have two verbal commendations and we're going to present it in no particular order. For the first verbal commendation, this delegate sent the most directive uh, 70 more directives out of the 256 and contribute considerably into the debate. But this directive, uh, but this delegate could have sent a more planned and impactful directives. And please try not to get indicted to 10, 10 different federal crime next time. Second, for the second uh, verbal commendation, this delegate remains very helpful towards the discussion and take a more of a mediator role between everyone. 
And this delegate also sent pretty promising investigative directives. However, we, uh, what we will we'll have uh, seen more in this delegate in next committee, in next crisis is uh, more improvement on their follow-ups. So without further ado, for the first and second verbal commendation goes to Mr. Lee Hamilton or Adlin Mia Martanegara and Mr. Christopher Cole to or Cassandra Go. Now for the second category of awards, we're giving out honorable mentions because we have decided not to give out best directive because we couldn't find a link of directives by a single delegate that really fulfill our expectations. But again, uh, we're going to still move on to honorable mentions with no particular order. For the first delegate, this delegate is very substantive in the debate and all of the substance that they brought are pretty crucial and pretty uh, impactful to the debate. However, this delegate can improve more in sending more relatable directives and increase in actually starting to send directives even more. For the second honorable mention, this delegate is full of controversies, surviving two assassinations. This delegate still managed to lead the debate and give input through their sharp and focal criticism. However, this delegate needs to be more diplomatic and more balanced in their background. Now, for the first for the first and second honorable mentions goes to Mr. Fred F. Fielding or Chang Xingyu Rian and Max Leland, Sim Yu Jibrian. Sorry for any butcher and pronunciation uh, disclaimer. And for the outstanding uh, for the outstanding award, this delegate were crucial for the investigation process with their position leading the effort and giving out infos to the committee. It was a pretty close consideration to the best delegate award, but uh, this delegate sadly was overshadowed by the role playing and leadership shown in the front room by the best delegate awardees. So, without further ado, the most outstanding delegate goes to Mr. John J. Farmer or Ko Kai Wen. Now, for the best delegate award, this delegate not only shown great leadership, but they also shown the understanding of substance and amazing control over the position. Not only this delegate managed to mitigate the PR disaster that was the commission, but this delegate managed to escape and sketch. Granted, maybe not everything was managed to be saved by this delegate, but we do believe that this delegate was the one who fulfills the, char uh, the character role and managed to achieve their golden boost. Now, without further ado, the best delegate goes to Mr. Alvin S. Falsenberg or Zhu Yu King. Lastly, the Board of DAS would like to again congratulate everyone who got an award and for those who haven't won, wish a very good luck in a crisis journey ahead. Salute, all the best, and remember, we didn't start the fire. Thank you so much for that, Satina. Uh, next up, lastly, we have the International Press Corps. May I please call Arnav Kalyani to give away the award? Uh, all right. Um, good, uh, good evening, uh, everyone. Um, I'm the head chair for PRESS, and I'll be speaking a bit about PRESS and giving away the awards. So PRESS is uh, one of the most unique uh, councils of the whole uh, MUN conference because they don't really have any debate going on themselves, but they have to be well versed with the debate going on in every particular council. And for that, I thank my delegates for being very well versed with all, what, uh, with the happenings in every single council and every single uh, session going on throughout the three days. Um, for the press awards, uh, this time we've had we had five awards that we would like to give out. Uh, first, we'll start off with a verbal commendation. We'll be giving out a verbal commendation to delegate Carl from the uh, New York Times. Delegate uh, Carl will showed very good improvement over the conference uh, over the three days of the conference and show uh, and also showed a lot of wit in his tweets that he sent out for our Twitter account. So that's where we will combination to Delegate Carl. Um, next up, we have our best pre-conference pre article. The best pre-conference pre article uh, goes to Delegate Shafa Amani from the Saudi Gazette Agency. So congratulations on that. This article was very well written and very, very well researched. And it, and it seemed like the delegate was actually present in conference while writing this article, even though this was submitted before the conference. Um, next up, we have our best press piece. Over the three days, 
we had a lot of press pieces that were submitted uh and it was very hard for us to decide how uh, how we rate all the pieces because they were all written in very different formats and written through different council sessions and on different topics but based is a trend that we saw we saw one particular delegate writing some very good press pieces that were entertaining for those who weren't in, present in council session and also entertaining for us who were present and knew the context of the press pieces so with that the best press piece award goes to delegate gerard from uh, fox news he was the lone ranger of press with the being the only delegate representing his own agency fox news so congratulations delegate gerard um next up we have our best press conference award um over the course of the 3 days we did con- we did conduct five different press conferences uh, in various various councils and each press conference showed a level of improvement uh, from the delegates but this one press conference really stood out with a lot of the delegates of the committee uh, being questioned in diff- both serious and also in formal ways about their stances and about things that things and points that they have made during council sessions before this press conference was one of the best uh, best received by the delegates of the council themselves and the reactions uh, during the during the press conference were very interesting to see so the best press conference goes to the delegates of bbc shreya goshal and lokki so congratulations delegates for this and next up we have our best press agency award the best press agency uh, award was um a bit hard for us to decide and therefore we had to use various variables to this uh, to come to a conclusion of who which agency should win this we had five agencies which were saudi gazette bbc fox news uh, channel news asia and new york times and after a lot of deliberation we came down to deciding that the best press agency award goes to the delegates of bbc for representing their agency stance to exactly how it is represented outside of uh, the conference in the real world and also having a lot of wit in their tweets and their articles and continuing to supply us with uh, with a lot of quality articles and quality press conferences So congratulations to, uh, to delegate Shreya and delegate Lockheen again for winning the best press AC award. And last but not least, we do have our best press delegate award. Um the best press delegate um award again was uh, pretty hard to decide for both me and my assistant Shreya Harshita because all of our delegates showed some uh some sort of improvement and also being good at uh, doing one of the components of press be it twitter be it articles be it press conferences or be it just asking questions to delegates and interviewing them during council sessions but as a combination of all of these elements we were able to come to a conclusion that only one delegate was able to give us at least a very good component out of all of these or out of all of these activities that a press delegate performs and therefore we came to a conclusion that our best press delegate is shreya goshal from bbc so congratulations for that all of the delegates and for all of the other delegates who did not win awards do, um, please remember that you all you also wrote articles that were read by the whole uh, delegate body and they loved out reading your articles as well so remember to learn that there might be something you need to improve and that you've learned a lot from this conference and thank you back to the mcs thank you so much for that arnav and thank you to all the chairs who presented the awards and congratulations to all the awardees now keep your excitement levels up as we are going to move on to the next anticipated segment where we're going to be announcing the best delegation may i please invite our dsg of conference management titisha kashwaha to give out the awards please know that the best delegation will be receiving a $100 amazon gift card over to you titisha thank you smriti after careful consideration and points calculation um the best delegation award goes to the university of indonesia 
DE0800, represented by Head Delegate Patricia Heidi. All of you showed exceptional dedication and diligence throughout the conference. We hope you achieve even greater heights in the future, and we look forward to seeing you again next year. Thank you. And now back to the MC. Thank you very much for presenting that, Patricia, and congratulations to all the delegates. All right. Now, we would like to invite our Secretary General, Mayank Goyal, to address the floor one last time this year. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the closing ceremony of NQ1 2022. And congratulations for surviving a grueling three days of Model UN. I'm proud of the quality of debate that was showcased in abundance, starting with the beginner councils, WHO, UNEP, and FAO. Our chairs had a wonderful sharing for one to two council sessions to get you warmed up to the idea and procedures of Model UN. I observed delegates actively listening and participating in the training sessions. I still remember my first time in Model UN as a delegate, where I was pitted against some of the best debaters of my time. I was shocked at how fast everything moved in Model UN, and it, was, and it definitely was a daunting experience. At that time, Model UN was still a growing concept in Singapore. Today, the model UN landscape is vastly different, but still ever growing with new delegates. With the shift to virtual model UNs due to COVID-19, model UNs around the globe became even more accessible, attracting more first-time delegates than ever before. Hence, as the DSG academics last year, I pushed for beginner councils with training and continued it, continued it this year as well after its positive impact. For the other eight councils with experienced delegates, I hope you had an opportunity to, to indulge in constructive debate. From UN Habitat, dividing the question and yet failing the resolution, to assassination attempts in crisis, I was delighted to see that most, if not all of you, made a strong attempt to protect the stances of your countries or portfolios. For this edition of NTO Month, possibly the last ever fully virtual NTO Month, we as a secretariat prioritized our delegates in all our deliverables. We created individual telegram groups for all, all councils, a main NTO Month portal and telegram bot to answer their queries. We have a total of 209 subscribers for the portal and 242 for the bot, with a staggering 2,500 messages exchanged on the bot. The idea of the NFT that we are distributing to all of you for free started with a why not, but never had I imagined for it to become as amazing as it did, as it did from the design to the ease of distribution. All of you are a part of NTUMAN 2022, and this NFT was a way for you to quite literally own that. And obviously, we had to get on the trend and create a TikTok account. This NTMUN 2022 Secretariat has truly been at the forefront of innovation to maximize his delegate experience. As a final year student in his final few weeks of study at NTU, I could not have imagined a better way to cap my four years here. NTMUN has been a part of my university experience that could not have been replaced by anything else. I know that many of you are in high school, so I hope that you not only choose NTU as your university, but join NTMUN as a Secretariat member maybe even being in my position, position a few years down the road. To all the delegates, chairs, and secretariat, thank you for making my last NTMAN experience the best one, and hope to see you again next year. And with that, signing off for the last time, your Secretary General for NTMAN 2022. Thank you, and back to the chairs, or back to the MCs. Thank you so much, Mayank. And with that, the Nanyang Technological University Model United Nations Conference 2022 has come to an end. We'd like to congratulate every single one of you for completing this journey with us and doing your very best for the past three days. Uh, we hope that NTU1 2022 was able to expand your perspectives, grow your mind, and challenge your limits. This year, due to the, due to the continued unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic, the conference was held virtually for the second time, but that gave us a chance to meet more of you from all over the globe. We hope you will keep your connections close and we're absolutely honored to virtually interact with every single one of you. On behalf of the entire NTUMAN 2022 org organizing committee, we wish you all the very best. We hope to see you again next year. Until then, take care and stay, stay, stay safe. Delegates, do note that there will be, that we will be circulating a feedback form in all of the Telegram groups regarding the committee session. So do feel free to feel, fill them up.
So just another reminder to all the uh, winners, uh, please do stay back. We will be uh, clicking a few pictures and yes, thank you very much and hope to see you all next year.